Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Over the last few years, women's hockey in North America has been on the rise. Such events as the women's hockey tournament at last year's Winter Olympics in South Korea, professional women's teams or players signing affiliation deals or becoming ambassadors for NHL franchises, and the NWHL signing a three-year streaming deal with Twitch, are just to name a few of the great strides that the women's game has taken in order to expand its audience around the world and showcase the talent and skill level that these female athletes have to offer. Though the male and female leagues have, for the most part, served as separate entities, there have been a few instances of the two leagues collaborating, such as Kendall Coyne Schofield and several other female hockey players taking part in the 2019 NHL All-Star Weekend. However, 27 years ago this past week, one goaltender and her desire to push the boundaries caused these two worlds to collide for the first time. This is the story of Manon Rayoum, the first woman to play in the National Hockey League. In order to tell this incredible tale, allow me to take you back to December 6th, 1990, when the National Hockey League announced that they had awarded a new expansion franchise to an ownership group led by two League Hall of Famers and brothers, Phil and Tony Esposito, for Florida's Tampa Bay area. The team was then promptly nicknamed the Lightning, after the Bay status as the Lightning capital of North America. Two years later, the Lightning had formed an impressive front office full of former Stanley Cup champions, and was ready to take to the ice during the team's first training camp to see who would make their opening night roster in their inaugural 92-93 season. Among those attending camp, was 20-year-old Manon Rayoum. The French-Canadian goaltender had been invited to the team's first training camp after being spotted by a lightning scout when she took to the ice with the tra riviere Draveur of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Her first and only game in the queue that day helped Rayoum become the first woman to play in a men's Major Junior Hockey League. Lightning general manager at the time, Phil Esposito, initially thought that the goaltender was a little small, but liked the skill that she showcased in her QMJHL debut. Once he found out that she was a woman, Esposito decided to invite Rayum to the team's training camp, as he thought it might be a unique and exciting way for Floridians to get excited about hockey and their new Sunbelt franchise. Rayoum played well and made a good first impression at the Lightning training camp, posting the third highest numbers among goalies invited during a mini-tournament on day one of camp. The French-Canadian played so well, in fact, that she was given the go-ahead to start in net for the Lightning's upcoming preseason game. On September 23rd, 1992, Manon Rayoum led the Tampa Bay Lightning onto the ice of the 11,000-seater Expo Hall for a preseason matchup against the St. Louis Blues. In doing so, Rayoum became the first woman to play in an NHL preseason game, as well as the first woman to play in any of the four major North American pro sports. Though she was faced with stopping a Blues power play early in the period, Rayoum held her own between NHL pipes, allowing two goals on nine shots before being replaced in the net at the conclusion of the first period. Her 20-minute stint in the crease may not have been perfect, but for the women in attendance who stood and cheered for Rayoum, for the young girls who watched her every move with laser focus and now wanted to play in the NHL one day, just like Rayoum did, they had just witnessed sporting history. Following her groundbreaking game with the Lightning, Rayoum signed with the Atlanta Knights of the International Hockey League, where she played a pair of games with the team, 
and became the first woman to appear in an IHL regular season game before suiting up for Team Canada at the 1992 IIHF Women's World Championships, where she allowed just two goals against in five games to help Canada clinch the gold medal. Rayoon would get the chance to face NHL competition once again in 1993, when she took to the crease in an exhibition game against the Boston Bruins, before spending the rest of the mid-90s playing a handful of games each year with teams in the ECHL, the IHL, and the WCHL, as well as winning another gold medal at the 1994 Women's World Championships and a silver medal at the 1998 Olympic Games in Nagano. Having received one of the highest awards possible in the greatest women's hockey competition in the world, Rayum felt that she had achieved everything she wanted as a hockey player, and it was time to hang up her skates and retire from the sport. After calling it a day on her career, Rayum spent a year as the goaltending coach for the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs women's hockey team, spent three years serving as a marketing director for Mission Hockey, a company that developed and promoted girls' hockey equipment, as well as working in marketing at the Powerade Iceport in Milwaukee and working with the Central Collegiate Hockey Association. However, a decade after her retirement, Rayum decided it was time to don the pads and take her place between the pipes once again, as she suited up for three games over two seasons with the Minnesota Whitecaps of the Western Women's Hockey League, where she went undefeated, and she also made another brief appearance in the IHL with the Flint Generals before finally hanging up her skates for good at the conclusion of the 0809 season. Following her second and final retirement from professional hockey, Rayum has remained active in the hockey world and has continued to add to her list of milestones, as she was asked to drop the puck in the ceremonial opening face-off of the very first National Women's Hockey League game in 2015. More recently though, Rayum works as a coach for the Detroit Little Caesars under 12 girls hockey team, so she continues to help train and inspire the female hockey players of tomorrow. Eight seasons, 31 professional league games, two world championship golds, and an Olympic silver. She may not have been perfect in her NHL debut, and she may not have even lasted an entire game in the net, but Manon Rayum's performance that day in September 1992, not only showed that women can play hockey and play it well, it inspired a generation. And with that, I am going to end today's video. What do you guys think about Rayum's NHL debut? Was it good? Bad? Or do you think there should be closer connections between the men and women leagues? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Dave, Martin Tolness, Max Artis, Nat Marlowe, Paul Malia and The Legacy for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.